Hi everyone, Nathan here from theebookreader.com. For this video I'm going to show you uh, news and mags on the Kobo Touch. So when I did the initial review, the newspapers and magazine subscriptions weren't working because I guess there was an issue with the server. But they've got that strained out now so it automatically downloaded my samples that I had had. Um, so let me show you how this works. So you've got the same sorting options in your magazine section as you do for your ebook. So you can view them like that. Uh, you can view one book at, or one magazine at a time or newspaper cover. Uh, then you got some different options. Right here you can just automatically jump into it. Um, let's go ahead and read this book right now. I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so magazines, they all set up. you got the different sections, and each section will have a heading with your article. So you tap on the article heading, and it will take you to the article in question. Um, you've got the, once you get to the end of the article, have options to go to your next article, previous article. Uh, how you navigate is by popping up the navigation here, pop up the table of contents for the or the sections here. It's kind of like the table of contents essentially. So you'll have a list of each section you can jump to. And there we go. So uh, as far as text modifying options, we don't have as many stuff as a regular ebook, but you have the options to. Uh, adjust font type. Uh, you got different font size options. Um, these settings are actually grayed out, so you can't adjust the line spacing or the margins or the justification or anything with the periodicals. But you can adjust the font size and font type. And then, say you go to an article or you're in the, this right here, if you hold down on a word, it will bring up the option to share it on Facebook. You can share, share the passage on Facebook or look up the word in the dictionary. So that's what we've got as far as features. You don't have the highlighting on these. And like I said, you got the navigation up there with the next articles you can jump to. And then you can also jump to the different sections uh, just by hitting that the uh, article section right here. Okay, so these are these will get automatically delivered via Kobo with these Kobo subscriptions. I went ahead and set up a Caliber subscription just to compare what it would be like. Um, that's this one right here. So with Caliber, you can set it up to fetch the news for you and it essentially um, develops an ebook out of it so it looks a little bit like this. Um, so the differences with the co the uh, caliber version is I find sometimes the hyperlinks don't uh, activate very well on the caliber version. The um, Koba Touch kind of doesn't work the greatest for activating hyperlinks. You have to do it just right, like you have to tap it and then let go. A lot of times you see it, it pops up the on screen, the um, the, the options for the on-screen see it's just the, it's the, the the hyperlinks just aren't working very well so I mean yeah it's free but um, there we go that's a little bit harder to uh, navigate same deal with up here so you have your ex exit next section um, you, next previous sections and main menu you can get up to up here but I found like you it's just pretty hard to get the hyperlink to activate you gotta hold it just right there we go um, so yeah it's a little bit more uh, complicated to get that to work but uh, Everything else seems to work well. We've got the you got the dictionary you can see right there. If you pop this up, you can change the whole set of font choices. You got the line spacing, margins, justification, everything. So yeah, you've got the whole set of uh, modifications here. As you can see, the font size is pretty tiny, so you can get it uh, a little bit, quite a bit larger using this. So yeah, the the thing with the Calibre one is that you have to you use your computer to fetch it and then send it to the device each morning. So it's not quite as convenient as if you're using the, getting the subscriptions automatically delivered. So yeah, so that's how the subscriptions, the newspapers and magazines look on the Kobo Touch. Um, check out theebookreader.com, I'll have some more information on there. Thank you for watching.